A lot of bass. I think that's. You know, I know I'm pretty good at this song on um, Dance Dance Revolution Three <laughs> on medium. I'm actually not too bad. I don't know the actual dance itself, but that when you when you watch the clip, they do that little like line oh, yeah. dance and dance. I don't know it. Oh, so you you just do like any dance? You don't do the I, proper one? No, I don't. I I'll, normally what happens is I'll watch people who know what they're doing, right, and then I'll start ch tuning along. You know, start doing it, and most times the people who are, start off strong I actually don't know what they're doing about three steps in so i ended up just awkwardly trying to make my own version of this great great song i think five six seven eight might be a band very much like um probably like chumba wumba for example who only had that one big hit but actually released a lot of albums really yeah, like, yeah you know chumba wumba with like, tub thumping hit they released like four albums what uh, yeah really yeah <laughs> yeah they and really did. All, they would they would seriously just be living off that one song. Like right? one song right now, yeah. Yeah, they're probably playing down at like the Berkeley on Hindley Street right now, probably tomorrow <laughs> on Wednesdays at, at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sorry, guys. Thanks very much for tuning in again. Welcome to another episode of 49 Shades of Grey. I'm Todd Grey, and to my right, we have Ben McDonald. How you going? And unfortunately, I have to say to my left, we have an empty chair this week. And it could be for a good while because our good friend Dale Swank, he's actually over living in Vegas. Yeah, Probably. this is where I would have like a... Uh, like a, or like a, a teary, little piano, a yeah. teary uh, piano piece on the that soundboard. Bold and beautiful he took, kind the, of he took the soundboard with him, so we we've got no soundboard anymore. Oh, and I haven't been asked to fucking make up my own one yet. Uh, we'll so, get we'll get around to it. But he's in yeah. he's in Vegas now, probably uh, banging cocaine and sniffing hookers. <laughs> 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 I'm assuming that's the, I'm assuming that's what you do in Vegas. He's I'm not sure. Probably in a gutter, dead already, yeah. and with like no money. Daryl, he's swanky. been over there a week. Lest we forget. But no, no, oh, he's over. He's over there for work. Actually, it sounds awful. I should have asked Swanky this. What does Daryl actually do for work? Meth. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah. So <laughs> we're gonna Breaking Bad. No, like seriously, back. meth. That's all you yeah. do, yeah. Yeah. No, it's. <laughs> I feel like you're trying to say maths, but <laughs> you're trying. It's like a. Uh, I don't think you mind me saying this. It's it's a. It's called BioGrow, I think, and it's like some sort of liquid fertilizer. You did say. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's meth. Was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and he got, it was like a friend of a friend who... He would of, make a good Heisenberg. Yeah. Like you, put yeah, this, yeah. you put the fedora in the glasses and yeah. we, he would pull that off. We honestly, like, we're just like, so where's the meth? And he'd be like, oh, there's some really... He worked today. He sent us an email and said, oh, yeah, no, work today was really good, long hours. We're up to 85% pure. Got some, got, yeah. some, got some really exciting things coming up. And I said, oh, so you're getting that meth real blue, are you? <laughs> yeah. He doesn't email back after that. Red, yellow, and blue, probably. Crows yeah. fan. But yeah. yeah. I, oh, so, <laughs> I, I feel awful. <laughs> well, yep, so, well, I guess if you're going to sell meth, Vegas, baby. Yeah, that's, that's, no, it's the place to be. Make a killing. Yeah. Literally, make a killing. <laughs> yeah, I hope, hope Gus Fring doesn't ring in, run into me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been? Have you been to America? You've been to America. You've traveled no, a bit, haven't you? No, no not to I know Daryl's been over there a few times. Yeah. Oh, Vegas. I'd love oh, I'd love to go there that, one day. I can only imagine. That's my... Me and my missus' uh, 10 year wedding anniversary. We want to go to Vegas and like just completely, you know, get like remarried and just kitch it up hardcore. Really? Are we talking like do the whole Elvis kind of marry? Asian, Asian Elvis. Asian Elvis? <laughs> yeah. And like t shirt, tuxedos, and just like anyone who wants to come can come. And then I'm going to go play World Series events as well. That sounds awesome. When, when, yeah. it, sounds, it sounds so But As soon as you said Asian Elvis, I just got that, that sigh. From Gundam style, just picture in my head. <laughs> yeah, so if if he married, that would that would like crown my life if we if I got remarried by side. <laughs> <Would you, yeah. laughs> uh, so, but that's so that's the bad news, guys. Um, we are, we do plan on we got I plan on getting a few and yourself as well, getting a few special guests in over the next few weeks, a few friends of ours from all over the place. So that this chair will be filled. But Daryl, we're gonna we're gonna miss you, man. Thanks a lot for all your support doing this. Like you yourself, Benny and Daz, you know, gave me the kick in the ass. I need to start doing this, and I've been having a ball so literally just go have fun in vegas grab vegas by the hair and just kick it in the dick have a good yeah, time man it should be i'm i am disappointed like because i'm i'm insanely jealous oh, i would be as well like, yeah living like 
There it is. Bit right James, there. Bit of James Bond. We should have spliced together a best of compilation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, we we could have we could have cut together some swanky some swanky goldness. That little soundboard of him just going, I could touch knobs. <laughs> could have been talking about like growing lawn in the uh, <laughs> in the fucking what was it? He's superior in the <laughs> armies. Let the judges all of us, I've got this little montage of Daryl in my head right now. Everything's just in slow mo. Yeah. And all of it just ends up with him like turning his head around, having a little like. <laughs> it's all. Is this up? Like. And then we could double this up for his funeral because he's pretty old. So, like, he'd probably. Oh, so, like, June. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you, you wouldn't want to use all the good bits up just in case he carks it early. So, we don't want to run no, out of No, they're not going to kill him off in, like, the first season or something. Yeah. Like that. He's going to kill him off in the first <laughs> season. He, he might be more Sean Bean, less. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Sean Bean dies in everything. Well, except I saw Silent Hill. I saw that movie. He doesn't, but he's like a set. He's not even a main character in that. Oh, really? He's um, but he doesn't die in that. But everything else, just he just he never lives. Poor yeah. fella. Like, and do you know what the worst thing is? Game of Thrones is fucking huge now. So each one of those people are getting five times as much money as him because he's he's killed off yeah. in the first season. Yeah, and you can't exactly have that whole "I'm back." It was like, well, your head on the pike. <laughs> like, you know, you can't be like, oh no, it was a, it was a, no, yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't. And whereas some of the fucking bit part characters. Like you know the the dude with no the bald dude oh, with like no dick no dick yeah, yeah 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 eunuch that's the word yeah, I was looking yeah, for yeah. so he's he's in there the whole time yeah you get two so li- he, three lines a season and we're gonna pay you probably twice as much as yeah you're or like you know the Sam's like chick oh, oh I know I can't remember her name she's pretty hot. Oh, that, She's like weirdly hot. What a what a great so What are you doing about the current season coming out now? Like uh, I watched the first episode last night. I see. It, I, I'm just I'm just no wait for I'm gonna wait for a good four. I can't but do it. I can't do it because people if, will spoil. If it for someone me. spoiled it for me, I will fucking rage. <laughs> so it's like usually I like watching a full season at once, but if I have the option of you know something like that where it's gonna spoil it for me. Then I just I remember, can't do it. The first episode of Game of Thrones I watched was actually just on like um second place of work we had Netflix. I just watched like it was like season three, episode four, and I was like, This is awesome. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> you have no idea for the first like at least six episodes. I thought yeah. I thought Jon Snow and Rob Stark was the same dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, why the fuck is he in the snow now? Like because they were just like long black hair yeah, dudes. Yeah. Like couldn't work it out. It takes so long oh. to work out. And still now, there's like there's so, so many so sorry, many yeah. people where you just like oh, you know, that guy who's like you know, we I was like, Oh fucking fire ladies back. Uh, what's, <laughs> what's a what's a fire oh, lady? Oh, oh the, the dragon. Exactly. This is gonna kill uh, why don't I know anyone's name? Why don't I know anyone's name? I'm and up like, to see I'm 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 up to date. Name me anyone in the Night's Watch apart from Jon Snow and Sam. Oh, I could. I, mean, I just feel like making up what sounds like a medieval, like like, and it was or, or anyone that hangs around with Santa. Stannis. <laughs> like, who the fuck are these people? I have no they idea. all have names, and like Thomas Carcetti, what's his name? Oh, that's Peter. That's I know Peter. That one. You know, yeah. Thomas Carcetti from The Wire. You know, he's the same dude. No. Oh, The Wire. There's a, there's. Yeah. A, I'm, I'm not even. I haven't even finished watching The Wire. I watched the oh. first three. Ser- ser- like well, three. You know, ser- the, the the dude that runs for mayor. That yeah. Was, yeah. That's, that's that's the dude that's like fucking the um, redhead like Stark girl now. Oh fuck. Oh, I'm a noob. Yeah, I'm gutted. No, I only don't. Don't worry. I only found that out. I'm like, oh, fucking is that guy? See, the wire. There was a show, the wire. There's one I just kind of pitted off with because I was just like, yeah, this is awesome. And all of a sudden, like, you know, next season of Walking Dead, which is my favorite series, going at them. I love the Walking Dead. Yeah, Got so the I comic books seen, and everything. I haven't seen the last season of Walking yeah. Dead. Oh, I love that show. So that came out. Next thing you know, so did the last season of Breaking Bad. And next thing you know, I'm just like completely forgot that the wire ever existed. And for the, that's all I talked about when I was watching the wire. Yeah, it was a great show. Yeah, the wire is fucking awesome. Ah, but I'll, that, anyway, we get off off topic because we do have some very important news, some big news, and that is the man to my right, Ben McDonald. You are owed a big shake of the hand and a big congratulations. You and Shireen, you're expecting. Yeah, mate. Yeah, pretty pretty fucking happy. I would be was, as well. Was, well done, man. Congratulations, it was, man. It was Facebook official last night. Uh, I know. And it that, didn't. That, it wasn't actually happening until then. I that wasn't photo sure was adorable it... as well, man. It's adorable. For those who haven't seen it, it literally is just Shireen on one side, Ben on the other, blowing up balloons, and it just says expecting, and it's then expected to pop on one of them. Uh, a, clever. Was that who? Now who made the pun? Who, who was? Oh, who was clearly the, not made the pun. So, 
my wife just like you know fucking YouTube's watch it. She'll just sit there and Google like pregnancy announcement things, and she <laughs> no joke. She there was like fucking four hundred of these different things that she was going to do like you know like leave little booties out next to thing or like say that griffin has to protect another one in the family now and all this sort of shit yep. yeah and that was the first one where she, i didn't like rule it out straight away <laughs> so she took that as being like yes this is the one we're doing i thought it was i thought it was really it was really good man it was mm. yeah and uh, uh so I, I my oh my announcement would have been i would have made it really twisted like i just would have went there got, got dedicated like get yourself looking all pale with makeup and that shave your head and look all near me and be like i've got a big announcement guys you might oh, want to sit sorry. down i've got some really bad news preggers <laughs> <laughs> toad preggers all this nah i got oh. you guys <laughs> there's so much on this cancer makeup just to... <laughs> yeah yeah, that would uh, be good. But no, no, great. So when's when's the due date again? Uh, 24th Ball of Park-ish. October. October, Sorry. big month. Mm. How, how's it... I don't know. I don't even know how to word this, but how does it feel knowing you're going to be a dad by the end of the year? Like, uh, you're going to have... You're going to have a mini Macca. Like... Weird. It, weird. It would. Like, obviously, until the time it doesn't, comes. Like doesn't, the it's, not, it's not real yet. Yeah, I, I can't answer. It wouldn't be, but that's... You know, like we're all growing up now. I remember yeah, all back in the day I'm... when we're all, I was still going to the university and playing poker with you and your brother at the old spot and like Clement and all that as well, Aaron and Steve, all us just finishing school and all that. And now, yeah, like, getting, so, getting, old, getting old. Now we've had us a big week. Daryl's over working, cooking meth in Vegas. You know, you're going to be a dad by the end of the year. And oh, what have I accomplished this, this week? I've accomplished probably nearly finishing Skyrim. And that's a, that's a bit, Skyrim and, um, whew, that's a Skyrim. That's a that's an amazing achievement. Don't don't knock it. All right. That's, that's, yeah, fucking. That's the closest. That's my baby. My PlayStation <laughs> Three is my baby at the moment. It's it. Oh, PlayStation Three. I know. I know. I'm disappointed in it too. Just like my when my <laughs> That's the first one that you didn't really care about, and yeah. then you, when you get the PlayStation Four, that's... <laughs> get neglected. That's the one. It'll never come yeah. out again. Oh, look, this is okay. But this, you know, the first one's all right. We didn't really know what to do with it, but the second one's much better. You know, we put a bit more time into that one. It's got yeah. better memory. It's faster. Yeah, it's it's quick. We fussed over that a lot <laughs> a when lot. it was younger, and yeah. now we just really don't give a fuck. We're, we we upgraded to the next <laughs> one, but sometimes we kept the other one around because there's a few things that the other one can't do with it. Care. Yeah. Oh, I'm an awful person. <laughs> But no, that's great. What are, is there any? Are you already scoping out a few things you're going to do with the um? I'm not going to ask you know if you're boy or girl or not. Like, you don't, I don't even know how how, like, how long how far away do you, like do you need to be before you six, find out? Sixteen weeks or something. Ah, see, I'm I'm completely ignorant of pregnancy. And like twelve weeks is like that's when you're like yeah, it's probably not going to die anymore. So we oh, can so tell that's, people that's when it's over. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say this every time you have to wait a while because you're going to be like hey, we're in we're in, we're pretty in the clear here. Yeah, yeah. Wait, are you going to find out the yeah. sex or do you want to be like you're, like you're a gambler you just want to like no nah, we'll find money out. down we'll find out <laughs> although my parents like think it's some sort of like devil thing that you find out <laughs> no, that's bad really. juju yeah, they 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 think it like ruins the whole like surprise of having a kid by by finding out I don't know why but they do uh, I wouldn't I don't know. I think having this, like the surprise is. Are you going to be in the? Have you already thought about going into the room for the birth, or is that going to? You're just going to uh, take that by chance as well. I think I'll be there. I think I'll get forced to be there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think I will be. So, but I don't know. No man. Yeah. Big congrats. Have you already like thought about little tricks you're going to try to teach teach a child and all that? I know I've already got, I've got a few in the bag. Like first of all, I got to find a girl who will let me make a sex with her, <laughs> and that's going to be tricky. That's 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 the first. That's, and, and, I might one just, that, and one that you don't have to triple wrap. Yeah, yeah. I like, might nice enough that you're like, oh, I better not put a, I, an extra one on here just to be safe. I may be better just like just just literally going to the pine, just like going. I, I like to look at that one. I'm just taking that one. <laughs> no, you know, rather than I got more of a chance to getting pinged. I got I'll go into prison for that than trying to get a lady to be interested in me because I pretty much only get laid and mumps will end in like October. It's about it. <laughs> it's not except it. for October. Yeah, <laughs> barring that, that's a barring. that's a busy period for that. <laughs> but. Uh, but like there's a few things like um, you know, in case anything goes wrong with the you know with I have a missus and it goes wrong, we're gonna teach the kid to do things like you know, teach it like every time mummy like lifts her hand, they go shopping and mummy reaches for something, you know, just flinch, 
Because <laughs> like when we get when we get into court, I feel like when we get into court, that's gonna do you a world of good. When you're like, <laughs> exhibit exhibit one, dear, could you just get the uh, could you just get the cocoa pops off the shelf? Well, ah, you see that? Look <laughs> awesome. look what he did. Look what little toboggan did. He's he's terrifying. Oh yeah, toboggan. Toboggan. What was? Oh, so it's a boy. To, toboggan. If it's a boy, I don't think we ever did. Oh, we did the girl one, didn't we, the other day? Oh, okay. I can't. I can't remember what it was. Probably like pancreatic or something like that. That was one of them. I think. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, no, this no is, that sounds amazing. I no, do that. Yeah, little, little things like that. But first of all, let's, I just got to try to focus on breaking the duck egg first because <laughs> it's it's not going to be. I'm, it's not going to be enjoyable for her later. I'm telling. I'm not going to be enjoyable for her at all. <laughs> it's gonna, I'm going to have to apologise in advance. But just be like, oh girl, come over here so I can impregnate you. Yeah, I've got this beautiful song you need to listen to. Uh, it, it explains my feelings about you. It's called "Smell Your Dick." <laughs> 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 Let me serenade you with a bit of song. <laughs> But no, because I didn't have any like didn't didn't have much luck when I was out and about traveling the world. But at the same time, I didn't really wasn't really looking for anything. Like we said, two years around Europe, I wasn't looking obviously for a relationship because I didn't want to get stuck in the one place and that. I had um I had a few kind of I guess you call like them surely backpack flings. It, backpackers. Yeah, I, I I did. I actually we, I had a few kind of flings. And I actually kind of virtually I guess you could say I got my heart broken for the first time when I was in Europe too. Because one thing I got I got a little too attached to yeah. a, to a girl over there and um. Long story short, she did the dirty on me, which I decided to handle like a 17-year-old boy at the time, not a 27-year-old man. And I was just like, I was just like, I'm going to text a corner a bitch. That's it. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to text a corner a bitch every day, probably three or four times a day. You know, six if I'm not working, corner a bitch. I might even every now and then chuck in a cheeky slut. <laughs> and that's what I did for a good like and two so, months and so clearly she thought well I've seen the error of my ways I'm I, going to get back yeah I, I, in my head I'm like yep this will this will win me This she'll come crawling back to me going look look, you're right I am a bitch but uh, we, we, we did we patched things up in the end as well look, I handled it a bit immaturely because like it was the first kind of time I've had my heart crush it and all that but uh, yeah moved on I just wish I handled it better than like a school boy yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, it was alright well you didn't cry during cry- Coyote Ugly so no, we're all good. No, no, but I think you didn't stoop to that level. Didn't get terminated. So I think the first movie, really, really good first date. We went and watched Insidious. That, that was the first movie. Is that we, like a weird horror movie? Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, was, that was what we went and saw at the cinema. Oh come on, dude! Surely you I like, fucked up. I didn't know what I was doing. I panicked. <laughs> I just fuck. pick something. Even a fucking Disney movie would have been better. Because then, or something really boring. Because then, like, oh, what am I gonna do if it, this it's, movie's boring? Let's just like. So I, I'm so clueless. I'm so clueless when it comes to gets. Because I literally went there, gone. And rather than going, oh, you know, I'm going with a girl to watch something we'd like. I'm like. I kind of want to see Insidious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like, let's let's go. And then the worst thing, because um, I didn't have a car in it over there, it was so bad getting driven around by her. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> yeah. But no, we, it didn't go out well, but we, we patched things up. Hell, we might even get her on the show one day. And we'll... Sounds good. Yeah, it'll be tops, man. All right, let's go in. Well, that, that, we talked for a bit of time there. Sorry yeah. about that, man. That was supposed to be a quick little one. But long story <laughs> short, congratulations, man. No, I'm no really worries. happy for you both. I really am. And yeah, I hope every, everything goes well. And when Bubs pops out, it's going to be great. Have you already you got the room all set up? You got the cop in today, didn't you? Yeah, there's like a bassinet or something. Fucking train buys all this shit. You're gonna like, yeah. So you get all the furniture, but you're gonna start modeling. You, you're gonna start modeling the room. Or you gotta wait till you go to sections. Uh, we've we've got paint like, one half blue, one half pink, and just go. Oh well, that's half the job done. When it comes to <laughs> yeah, pretty much. No, yeah, it's kind of half. It's getting there, but yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Um, so I reckon we'll jump straight into my first little question for today, and that's uh, everyone has one. Um, everyone has a favorite YouTube clip. We're talking about how Shireen loves to go on and look at you say look at those like announcements she, and stuff like that. She and like pram reviews. Pram reviews. <laughs> Apparently, there's fucking heaps of there's them pram there. reviews. Yeah. So whenever like whenever I come and go on the computer, now my whole his- YouTube history is just filled up with all these different. Type in P and everything is pram. Yeah. No, it, it said, "Would you like to?" And you know how there's like the recommendations. Oh yeah. It doesn't, <laughs> No more cool music that I kind of like. It's just all like, oh, you can review this pram or whatever. <laughs> it is ridiculous. These building blocks are best second to none. Yeah, pretty much. Pram, pram reviews. Yeah. I don't know how how would one review a pram. It, it, like, it, it's the, the baby can sit in it. Well, it doesn't. The, it doesn't break when the baby sits oh, in man, it. Oh man, you would have no idea. I have no. The idea. mags on the wheels. Like. Yeah. No. 
there is so many fucking like, oh, this folds up this way and this one has an extra seat. So when you have a second kid, you don't have to buy another pram and this one. Well, stay away from that one. You don't want to, that's, you, that's kind of backing you. Garrett, you're getting yourself, well, I don't want to waste that seat. <laughs> well, I better have another kid now. We spent a few hundred extra dollars <laughs> that's on this 60, seat. Yeah, that's $60 of value just not being used there. And no joke, these, these prams, you could actually buy a car for less money than some of these prams. Fuck off. I got some worries and worries. You know, that's She's it. like, Shroom's like, oh yeah, so we, you know, we, we've we got a, because we're kind of like one of the last people in our friendship group to like have a baby or whatever. Yep. So we've got heaps of like hand-me-down clothes and all that sort of shit. So we're pretty set with that. So now she's like, all right, so I might spend a little bit extra money on the pram. And I'm like, yeah, that's all right. And then she said, oh yeah, so the one I'm looking at is about... $1,900. For fuck off for a pram. Yeah. $1,900 pram. Yeah, what and, the fuck? And I don't think that was the expensive one either. Nineteen. What, what, what makes a $1,900 pram? I don't understand. When I see a pram, I'm like, no, 200 bucks tops. Nah, they're like, if you pay... Obviously, I don't, I'm all over it, but what, like what makes it... Random, what? just a normal kind of like, you know, good, quite like, I don't know, like the Holden Commodore of prams, right? Yeah. I can talk about these in context of cars since cars. they cost as much as fucking cars. Like they're, that, they're like six hundred bucks, right? That car I got, that the car I got out the front. Now I like that car. I know I had the accident a little, but that that cost about seventeen hundred. I paid yeah, for that. So yeah, no, fuck off. We don't need your car because we're going to get a pram, pram. just a, a push car for one. I person. How you can have my car and just put the baby in the seat, <laughs> and just push the car along, man? It's all no, no, yeah, no joke. Fuck, I'm going to Google that tonight. I'm just look, cause I completely believe you, but I, just, I couldn't fathom. Oh, no. shit. All of a sudden, no, no. No. And she went She went to the baby expo. Oh, oh and dear. It's just like she found all this other shit. It's not good. There's, there's got to be there's gotta be stuff out there for kids, which you just go like, what? Uh, who? Kid, kid yeah. stuff and wedding stuff is just, as soon as it's something to do with a kid or a wedding, they just fucking jack the jack price up. up so much. I've been, oh, like, like, if you took it... Like food containers, for instance. Just like little uh, like Tupperware container. Like, yeah, Tupperware container is, you know, fucking not that much. Go, like if it's, go to the salvos, pick one up for like yeah. Two, yeah. But as soon as it's for a baby, triple the price. No joke, it is ridiculous. So I'm trying for a loop with a $1,900 pram. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no, I don't. Ah, that's all right, the baby bonus will take care of that. You're all good. We don't get baby bonuses. Does, have it? Does it happen anymore? No. When did that stop? You get like you get maternity leave ah, yeah, at yep. the minimum wage for like Did that stop when like sixteen weeks Gillard or left or anything like that? What happened there? Nah, Tony Abbott wanted to bring in like at your full wage for like longer and stuff. Oh, okay. But that got shut that, down. Yeah, because I, I actually know some stories. But everyone has a little baby bonus story. Like I've the seen plasma, people plasma TV bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was just I've already got my TV. But I yeah, just, I'm going to have to spend did. it on baby stuff now. Yeah, like I, I, did, did, I, I was in JB Hi-Fi one and the people were buying a surround sound system for about two grand and her, it's like, she looked like, like she sneezed and you know straight away I just went to kick a bucket under her, like something like that, you know, catch yeah. that kid. And, you know, they're just, I literally, like the whole time, they're just, you know, looking at the price and the husband's looking at the price, looking at them, like looking at the st- girlfriend's stomach. And I'm just like, yeah, you're just using that. You <laughs> Like you don't co- quite comprehend. Like did, did you have that? baby to get this sound system like, are you going to call your baby Sneak or something like that <laughs> like so, Sonequa <laughs> yeah. like, could you than Sony Sony yeah. or, that's the brother's be, name could, I guess be, no brother would be Philip oh. <laughs> <laughs> or Kenwood could be like a could be like a foreign family who can get a bit kind of yeah, Toshiba Bose <laughs> yeah. But that's uh, I didn't know about the baby bonus. Well, I don't know why. Well, it's not really something I've ever looked into. It'd be creepy if you did know all about the baby, baby bonus. bonus. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But oh, I actually can't believe nineteen hundred dollar brand. Yeah. Bloody hell. Anyway, YouTube clips, man. Um. All right. Yeah. Do you, do you, oh, I can tell you what mine is. Mine's great. Like I could, like I said, I, I could be in a bad mood. I could, you know, anything could happen. Lost, lost my job. Like I said, heartbreak. Anything. In fact, I think when I did get my little heartbroken, I did watch this a few times. I love it. It's called Heavy Bertation, if you type it in. It goes for about 20-odd seconds. The quick backstory, if you just type in heavy and like B-U-R-R, it should just come up like that. It goes for about 20 seconds, and the quick backstory is it's a live news report, and they cross the disco outside the Staples Centre for like a basketball match, like, re- you know, review. Yeah. And she literally, like, she, she has a panic attack on, like, live TV 
and just blurts out words like they, she ended up got, like you know being put in an ambulance and going to the hospital she was all clear and all that but she literally had a panic yeah. attack on live tv and just started blurting out absolute nonsense like she was speaking in tongues i think yeah that's the one the top right. one there all right Let's i cannot it. be in a bad mood and watch this clip and not feel a bit happy afterwards loading up now it's only like 23 seconds or something like that but yeah this guy just leads her in but you just have to do serene branson is live at the staples center with highlights and backstage coverage we're seeing for the very first time serene all going well well a very very heavy uh heavy divertation tonight we had a very daris darison bite and let's go ahead terrace chase in those for the bit they have the pet <laughs> did, she, did she have a strike I, uh, it was like it Every, but it was a panic, a panic attack, but ended up like almost, what's the word I'm looking at? Anxiety? Like it was yeah. like an anxiety attack. So not quite a stroke, but a bit more serious than just like a, you know, oh, I'm a bit befuddled. Yeah. But, but yeah, and then oh, oh, on Sorry. live live TV too. Yeah. There's there's some great clips. Like every, you know, there's great, great clips on YouTube. There's so many. You can just type in anything these days and there's something for it. So I've got one. It's a little bit topical since we've already talked about it All on right. the show. This is from Family Guy. We now return to Breaking Bad. <laughs> you will recommend Breaking Bad to everyone you know. I will recommend Breaking Bad <laughs> to everyone I know. Breaking Bad is the best show you've ever seen, except maybe The Wire. Breaking Bad is the best show I've ever seen, except maybe The Wire. You will never stop talking about Breaking Bad or The Wire. I will never stop talking about Breaking Bad or The Wire. Oh, we're slowing down. That's a good sign. You know what's not slowing down? Breaking Bad. Haven't seen anything like it since <laughs> The Wire. God, he never shuts up about those shows. That is that so, is great. It's so true too, well, man. Given how many times do you reckon we've talked about Breaking Bad in... This is what, episode seven? 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 Yeah, yeah, seven. And I reckon we've probably talked about Breaking Bad at least ten times. Oh. And, and The Wire, well, we talked about it tonight and maybe a couple times. So. Um, yeah, uh, you're right. And I was the same with Breaking Bad as, as well. I was a bit behind. I was probably a season behind. Everyone was like, oh, I'm already talking about it. So I went, okay, I'll watch it. Same thing. Like straight away, as soon as I watched it, I'm just like, why, why is everyone not watching this? Like, watch, like, I've been putting like, everyone watch Breaking Bad. Watch it. Watch it. And, people, we don't, and then people are like, have you seen Breaking Bad? They're like, no. You're like, really? What the fuck? Like, how have you not seen Breaking I don't understand. I don't understand how you haven't. I think I've hyped it up too much for a few people because there's a few of my mates who are like, say, I haven't seen Breaking Bad and then I'll literally just hound them every day for weeks until they watch the first episode and it kind of starts off a bit slow. So they go, I ah, couldn't really get into it. I'm like, how the what fuck if, can you get into it? Yeah, just break it back. Yeah. I, and, think, see, I think the season one is a bit slow, but man, you just got to ride that out. It's, not, it's still very watchable. You ride that yeah. out, it is so rewarding. Yeah. What a great series. Yeah, but yeah, I, I think I've ruined it for a few people because I think, you know, they think you're going to have like an orgasm every show. And it's only at the other, it's only in season five that you have an orgasm oh, every oh. show. It's great. I remember like the, the ending. We're about to ruin it, but the ending. You know when you're just like, you've got about twenty minutes left to wrap everything up. This isn't going to be satisfying. I am not going to be satisfied at the end of this series. And then somehow, I kind of that was. was one of the best endings from any TV show. It, it just, like, I don't. It was just so. It was. Do you do you watch Dexter? Uh no, I uh, know De oh. Dexter. Actually, no Dexter. I never really got into. There's a, I, Dexter and, and Lost. Probably two series I've never really got into. Well, I've thank, seen. Thanks I've, for ruining my material for the next. Series. Oh, really? I was about to say, Lost and Dexter are possibly two of the best shows in the middle parts of the season. Like yeah. in the, you know, it kind of starts it, off well and then hits its stride, and both of them are fucking awesome, and then they both just go downhill and have the most ridiculous yes. bullshit ending. Well, see, I know ever. a fair bit about Lost still because I've kind of I've seen random episodes about it and all that, and they had yeah. like a. I remember on Fox Show once they just had like a season synopsis of like, you know, what happened in a lot, not just what happened last episode, it was like this season four or something like that, first yeah. episode. And they had like a whole little half hour, like pre episode of what happened in season three. Yeah. And um, so I know I can talk a bit, fair bit, a little bit about Lost because by the end of it, that just sounded like there was time travel involved and everything like that. It got Dexter, all I know about is he's a cop, well, he works for the law. 
kills people. That's, yeah, that's all I know. I know. Like and John static. Lithgow's in it for a bit. And he's, he's a bad guy. He's the scariest motherfucker in yeah. it. Yeah, it was so good. That's all I know. But I, yeah, it, it, I don't want to, even though I loved it up until the kind of the last season, I don't want to recommend it to anybody because if they get so invested like I did and then they have that bullshit ending, they're going to punch me. Were you, were you happy with the ending? Like the landing of a, how, what was your, when you watched it and it just went to black and you're just like, that's it? I was like, Wait, that you, is fucking shit. It was that bad. Well, it was terrible. Why we got YouTube? Because oh, I want to something the ending which really disappointed me. It was actually like I said, I've I've tried being an actor for a while. Never really br- got a break in, but I've had a few very close attempts. I auditioned for a uh, South Australian movie which actually went quite global, called The Bubba Doc. Now, when I first saw that, yeah, I thought it was apparently like I heard that that was like you know. In terms of like Australian horror movies, it's kind of like Wolf Creek and then the Babadook is like the next yeah, one that it, I've, like everyone overseas season. loves that shit. It was yeah, well, I, I remember getting the like the tube and that in London. It was at on you know tube stops and bus stations and all that. Like it was yeah. huge. Now it was only a small role which I auditioned for to play a policeman. He had about eight or ten lines, but it was a bit more than a bit part. Yeah, um, and it was it was no good. I watched it the other day and they said it was a great movie, but the ending. If you ask me, the ending without giving up is pathetic. You need to watch it. Watch it to understand. The ending is just absolute. It's 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 cheap writing. It's a cop out. The really? ending. It's like literally to like we've. How are we going to end it? Ah, oh, fuck that. What, what what's lunch? Back and there we go. That's the <laughs> ending. There you go. But what, the, what yeah. about How I Met Your Mother? Do you watch that? Ah, uh, I've watched a fair bit. I know how it ends. And yeah, yeah, that's. See, I love the ending. It was Everyone hated it. Very but I thought it was... I, I, I met a couple of people who loved the ending as well, but I've met a lot of people who didn't. Yeah. Well, I don't. I, mean, I don't think it's. It's not a cop out though. It's, I don't think that's a cop. A cop out. The Bubba Doc for me, which when I first actually got told I was, you know, it's a horror movie called The Bubba Doc. I thought it was a horror movie based on the Smith Chips monster. <laughs> that was the Gobble Doc. Gobble Doc. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> just black and it's just you hear some scuttling and you see a chippy <laughs> like that would be scary as fuck <laughs> it's a scary looking monster dude like, I mean, this little four foot nothing and he's actually quite muscular hairy like little like troll just see, demon in, in the dark he's like Chip- chippy <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I mean, like, when I first got the script the, the dude would have to be named Chip as well. yeah. when I first got the script I'm like Smith, like Smith Chris, is really, and but no, it's actually a bloody good movie. But um, yeah, that was I came very close to that. I got down to the final four for being in the uh, the natural gas commercial guy. You see, he's now he's done about eight because it was a like package deal. Yeah, and the money was bloody see, good. He, he he lives off that now. I yeah, reckon. he's been on billboards. I've done. I actually did a stage show with him actually. Um, yeah. where it was the very first stage production of Hound of the Baskervilles, Sherlock Holmes play, and um. Yeah, I was playing virtually. I was playing like the what you know, the lead after Sherlock and Holmes. I was playing Henry Baskerville. He was playing the bad guy. Um, so I've done a stage show with him. Uh, he actually used to be a Power Ranger as well. He was actually in a series of Power <laughs> oh, Rangers, really? um, Ninja Storm, Power Rangers, Ninja Storm. We're talking oh, like one amazing. of those ones way down the line. And he was actually he wasn't a coloured ranger. He was like you know how every Power Ranger has the six Power Ranger. You know like the first series had the Green Ranger come in. Like yeah. there's your original team. They always have that one extra kind of Power Ranger which just comes in out of the blue that yeah. was him and he, I believe it was his title was the Maroon Thunder Ranger <laughs> so he wasn't just given a he wasn't given a car I, I love Power Rangers I watched it when I was a kid I was all Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers but yeah I, so he, he did a he, no he like he, fuck him he was a Power Ranger well, give me so a natural gas let me be a natural gas guy don't take this the wrong way but he kind of looks like a much better looking version of you oh so he is can, he's, 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 he's a rather dashing man I'll give I him I can kind of see why they picked him picked him he's a very he's a, he's a rather dashing man and his his hair oh it's luscious he's got a lovely <laughs> lovely set of I've got, he's got a great set of hair where I've just got like a hair that's literally that's literally it you kind of look like a 40 year old version of him Yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds that's pretty much sounds accurate. But I, that cl- that close, I think the cl- like well, I've watched it before. I've actually been. I actually do have a few things on YouTube. I was in a music video. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, called um by a band called a LA band called Everlita, which is love hate spelt backwards. Called Draw Your Gun. Um, if you watch the clip, it's been up there for like two and a half. I said two and a half years. It's had eleven hundred hits. Maybe we can get it to eleven hundred and ten. Just keep refreshing, refresh, <laughs> refresh, refresh for like a month. But like then, then you put up like um, I don't know like old lady kicks a guy in a dick. You put that up two minutes eleven hundred. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I've got about 200 hits on YouTube as well. Yeah. Yeah. You got a few of like your poker things up. Yeah, do you, your own channel. Point. I need to, actually. I don't have my own channel. I've just got what other people have put up. I've got my my very first stand up gigs on um on you on YouTube. That's going back a long time now. That's going back a long time. And look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's 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 about it. Um, what? Uh, draw your gun. I know I've got a few other things on up on there, but nothing. Like I said, nothing which would uh. Nothing, nothing, nothing that gets me stopped in the street. Breaking yeah. Bad in the wire. No, no, not quite, not quite. I wouldn't even, I don't, wouldn't even compare with Smell Your Dick. It wouldn't, it just wouldn't. <laughs> I didn't I even look how many I, hits that had. Uh, uh, don't well, look at it. I could not watch it. Do you want? Do you want to feel depressed? I do actually. Right yeah, right. I do. Smell your Yo. dick. That's gonna be good in your history. <laughs> I bet it's gonna be something like. That's the original one there. 5.7 million. 5.7 <laughs> million people. Surely, surely the extra, you know, 50 or 100,000, they don't need them. They yeah. can just, like, tack them onto... Well, we were talking about Psy before. Look at Psy with Gundam Style. That was the oh. first clip to ever hit a billion. A billion hits. Gundam Style. And I'll tell you right now, three quarters of the people who have listened to that song don't know what the lyrics mean. They don't. What's that up to these days? Fuck. 2.3 billion. Fuck me. No, 2.3. Three billion, and I gotta be honest, I'm about. I've probably watched it about half a dozen times, but two point three billion. That is ridiculous. That that is just stupid. That is incredible. There's another one here that's got, and he's got a whole bunch of different ones as well. Like there's yeah. there's like live performances which probably are on millions as well. So there's some other random sci song that has five hundred million. It's probably the one after Gangnam Style. It's probably his late, latest single. Oh, I, it, it, ba it baffles the mind. Nah, but it, it makes me it makes me sad. I don't know what I, I reckon. If you put all my videos up, if I've had, I've got less than five thousand hits. I mean, that's five thousand still. It's five thousand, but I know for a fact I'm at least two hundred and fifty of them. <laughs> I know for I can tell. I'm, I'm guaranteed. That's a that's a hard fact. Yeah. You know, we're not talking about too do many you, randoms. Do you watch them? Just occasionally. Okay. You know how you were talking about your go-to video? Yeah. Do you ever I just, do. like, go back and, like... I do. I, I, I Occasionally, I do. I, I've watched Bloody Draw Your Gun probably a couple of... Oh, I reckon four or five times since I've done it, I have. But I reckon I've watched my stand-up one dozens, Yeah. you know, since doing it. Um, most of it's a bit like, have I improved or not? But, no, sometimes I'm like, how many hits... You know, I do. I'm like, how many hits have I got? Have I improved? No. Nah. No, I well, the the video that I've got up there, that's oh, it's only got like maybe two hundred hits or something, but it's me. Um, I was live recording and I won a final table for like twenty eight hundred bucks. Live, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. sweet. So you just go, yeah, yeah. So whenever I like, I'm really, really, you know, sucking at poker, which is kind of all the time now. I just like put that on occasionally. Just remind yeah. me of the good times. Yeah, I'm a gun. Just watching. Yeah. I'm a gun. Uh, what's your favourite word? There's the next one. What's your favourite word? What's your favourite word to use? No, not even just use. What's just for your favourite word, full stop? You, know, you, you have a little, little, little time to think. I can tell you what mine is. Mine's, mine's kerfuffle. Kerfuffle. I love the word kerfuffle. And so much so, I've actually, I've never made it, but I've got a dessert called a blueberry kerfuffle. <laughs> and, yeah, do you have that with a toe of the own? <laughs> you have it on the side. But how, what it is, is you just get a piece of pastry, just a, you know, fillet puff pastry. Then you get a double barrel shotgun and you load one barrel with blueberries and one barrel with double cream and you shoot the pastry and that is your blueberry kerfuffle right there. Because <laughs> it's in a riot kerfuffle. Yeah. Yep. I love the word kerfuffle. So much, I, mean, I was playing a drinking game when I was in Belgium with two Belgian girls, two French boys and myself and my mate Jesse. So much so we're like, we were playing kings. You know, you draw a king and you make a rule. Yeah. I was, before you drink, you must say the word kerfuffle. And if you haven't heard a French person say kerfuffle, <laughs> it is so funny. I can't do it, but it's just kerfuffle. <laughs> you see me in a red kerfuffle. <laughs> it is so funny. That is my favorite kerfuffle. Uh, Actually, I, I've, I've got one. This is this is probably the the one foreign word that I've said to foreigners more than any other word. Go on. Can you can probably guess it if you uh, foreign word. Yeah. So you know when you when you're traveling and there's one word that I wanted to say to people what would that what was that word do you reckon? You're traveling it's a, it, I traveled what language? I traveled through Europe. You went to Europe. Europe a lot of time spent a lot of time in the UK, a lot of time in Germany. Au revoir. No. 
No, we didn't no. say that. No. Well, a lot of, when we were in uh, France, it was more just like, bonjour and uh, yeah. merci, thank you. Yep. And then, yeah. and then usually what would happen is I'd go up to the counter in the shop and I'd be trying to count out in euros, but I have no fucking idea what any of the coins are. Coins are, like. yeah. So, so the chick, like there's a big line up behind, so the chick would just start grabbing coins out of my hand. Yeah, that one, that one, that one. And she would do it in like two seconds. Yeah. No, but uh, Hefeweizen. Hefeweizen? How am I going to guess Hefeweizen? <laughs> what, what is, what is one when I have a while? I was like, Duncan shit. Oh, I don't know. Like, Dunk you. I don't know. Yeah. Hoofen, hoofen, what? Hefeweizen. Hefeweizen. What does that mean? Wheat beer. <laughs> Wheat beer. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, Hefeweizen. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, and Wurst. Oh, was it? The, the, was sausage. Sausage, yeah. 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 But Hefeweizen. That's good. Yeah. I, I had like some it. good Hefeweizens, Rosie. Hogarden? Yeah, Ho- Hogarden. Yeah, 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 I like Hogarden. Yeah. That was um, good. There's some good There were so many good German ones, though. Every every little They're almost like a meal in themselves sometimes, yeah. those wheat beers. Especially the Dunkel Hefeweizen, which is Oh, the, I do like the, the dark. The yeah, dark. dark. Yeah. Yeah. Like Hefeweizen. Oh, I did not... No, nope, I would not have picked that word. I like yeah. the fact you thought I was going to straight away. I'm like, oh, it's a one. no brain. Look, it's Hefeweizen, guys. Like, you know, like if you had Come to think on. more than two seconds, Hefeweizen. Well, can you see? Can you see up there? No one else can see this, but like I stole. Oh, you saw. Oh, see that's that? a Stein. Did yep. you go during um shoots, or was that just from? Uh, that was from Oktoberfest. Ah, fair enough. I stashed that in my little camera bag. Yeah, and <laughs> it only just fit, and yeah, that's my that's my best uh, souvenir from. Uh... Very nice. Yeah. I didn't. I said I didn't get to go there during the um Oktoberfest, but just as good. I was there during the World Cup. Yeah. Yep. I was actually in Germany at a beer garden when they won their semi final. So was I. Was that against the USA? No, yeah. that was the quarter final. The quarter final was USA, yeah. Well, yeah. well actually, so, when, when Caleb and I were going around, we weren't that far yeah, apart. We, I reckon that we got to about 500 Ks apart at one stage. I reckon, yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. But I was home by that time. Yeah. The, the Germany USA game was the last one I saw, I think. And that was cool. Being like, that was just, you know, I can not wouldn't be the same as obviously Oktoberfest, but I was there. I was like, "That's got to be pretty close." Yeah, yeah, it was pretty awesome. So yeah, so yeah, Hefeweizen. Well, no, kerfuffle. I'm sticking with kerfuffle. I like kerfuffle. Well, we're in a right kerfuffle when we run out of Hefeweizen. Yes, that's ah, well done. All right, all right. Nick. So I think it's I think it's game time. Ah, oh, sweet. All right. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be so much of a game, but uh, I'll tell you something I wouldn't mind doing. Um, I'm not going to lie. We'll talk about the girls. I have Tinder. I'm gonna like, so a lot of people have Tinder. A lot of people have Tinder, and um, I think we should do some live Tindering right now. Like it's just it's scoping out, seeing what biddies are around your neighbourhood so far. Make it real. Set the location really close. All right. So what? Me... I I don't. I'm not a Tinder. All right. What's the closest you can set it? Uh, let me let me have a look. app settings. No, I don't want that. I want just want settings in general. Settings in general. I think I've got it set on twenty. I've got it set on fifty k's at the moment. Yeah, no, go close. Okay. Go like right around the corner. I want to see if I can find someone I know. I'm gonna be worried. What if it's Shireen? <laughs> wow. be, that would be some serious talk. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, app settings. Here we go. Is that the one I want? Oh come yeah. on! I should, I should. I should have done this beforehand. All right, we'll we'll be back. We'll right. pause this. And we'll, be back. we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. All right, we're back. All right. Touch so we got we, we figured it out. It's easy. So I had it set on fifty kilometers away. And um, also had it set in the age bracket, 18 to 34. Now, I think, I think 18 to 34 is a decent enough bracket. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm 28 now. I turned 28 last week. Like, is 18? Should I go up to I 22? Like, well, should I, I can't go 18 no, anymore. 18 year old. I'm Get some 18 year old snipers in there. I think once good. I hit 30, then that's technically dirty, dirty old man no, territory. See, the, the lower age never moves. It's only the upper age that moves. All right. So 18 to 34. And um, see, with 34 is a bit old. Do you reckon? I don't know. Like that's how I knew I was getting old. Yeah. Because all of a sudden, I'd see like a chick who was clearly like in her mid to late thirties, and I'd find them hot. That never used. To, when you're twenty two years old, yeah. they're like all fucking. You're just like no, no way, man. Now you're yeah. like, ah, oh. yeah, yeah. So ten ten, ten kilometers, kilometers, ten kilometers away, eighteen to thirty four. Only, only women. women. Yeah, do that. All right, women. done. Now, before we do it, I'm going to show you my little profile. I think I like my... I didn't write anything. I never wrote anything. There's actually, I didn't write anything because no one reads your profile. But my, I put about half a dozen pictures. I went with the old me doing stand-up as my first yeah, picture. Yeah, no, it's funny, funny guy. Funny, funny guy. guy. Yeah, it's great guy's funny. You know, maybe he's even successful. <laughs> you know? No, the answer is no. <laughs> it's, a, it's a raw comedy banner, so then it's not Melbourne International Comedy no, Festival. No, but you see, I, I just... I was lucky. I didn't even like crop this. It's just got the word comedy in the background. Yeah. That's good. Comedy. Next picture. Funny. Next picture. 
Come on, load up. Now, that's a good looking picture. Now, for me, yeah. that's the best looking picture yeah, I think I've ever seen. Just chilling in the pool. And, I'm, I'm, you know, if anyone goes, where's your profile picture? That's when I'm in Africa. Just chilling in the pool. Yeah. You know, that's Probably looking all right. Some zebras and stuff. Yeah. Been good. That's good. Own. That's 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 so, just be general. That's a good looking picture. I like that yeah. one. Now, that one, on the other hand, that's me. Look, look he's a bit wacky. Yeah. I don't know. It's some people of, some people he's, might think wacky. Some people might drinking, think. He's drinking out of some sort of alcohol, out of a straw, and he's got a cop hat on. It's yeah. clearly some sort of fancy dress party. Bad, yeah. No, it was it. when I was in Greece, I was absolutely hammered. I don't even know where that cop hat came from, to be honest. Um, but look, you know, some people think wacky, some people think village person. Yeah. But look, that's a bit wacky, I'm a bit wacky. There we go. Next one. Now, you need a picture of you of a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. That's me in a Hawaiian shirt. It's not staring off into the distance. Yeah, there's not much there. And then um, the last one, look, when I was in oh, Thailand. Like, see, I said zebras, but like, is that a cougar? Cheetah? That's a cheetah. That's cheetah. when I was in Thailand. Just yeah. walking in the street in Thailand, this woman's got a little cheetah like on a leash and just like, do you want to feed yeah. my cheetah? I'm like, is that a, yes, it's not an entendre. It's not. <laughs> so I, I, I fed a cheetah all night. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you've got all bases covered there. Oh, look got... at that right there. And look, like, oh, it was another one. Oh, that's right. Now, this is when I dove with crocodiles in Africa. Now, I don't know the, mm. what happened, but look, it looks like I have muscles in this. But be yeah, with me. It look, you, know, you know when you uh, you see, like, the footy club um, uh, photos? Yeah. Where, like, the people get their fists and yeah. just, like, push it. You kind of do it. That's that. what I'm... But... I, not, not intentional, but look, I look like i got muscles there, which yeah, I, I don't. I'm, I'm deceptively weak. All right. All right, here we so, go. We're starting. All right, first one. Here we go. We've got Kara. Right. Now, straight, straight away there, it's a group shop. I don't, you don't know which no, one Kara is. I'm assuming what? it's not that guy. <laughs> why, do you, why do you have so many? No, just go now. See, you don't know which one Kara is. See, right there, still don't know who Kara is. It's I don't know who Kara is. That's a no. A That's a no. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, no. Um, no. Now, there's a Natalie. I'm, I'm saying Natalie. That's Natalie. That's, that's, a, that's a big no. That's um. Sorry, Natalie. That is... Like I, pl- I play basketball and I've played with balls which aren't as round <laughs> as that head. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, right. This is the we, 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 That's oh. the thing of Twitter. It's the most vain thing in the world. Twitter. You just yeah. You have to go. Nah. And, yeah. And nah. Yeah. Well. Nah. So nah. That's a that's a that's a no no. Mm. Oh, a bit crazy. Emily, that look at that. She's dressed for Halloween. She's dressed up. You know, for me, right there. That's a let's look at another photo. Oh yeah, picture. you definitely want to look at another photo. Yeah. Oh, too um, much dude in that photo. Yeah, she's got. She's carrying a dude on her shoulders and that guy looks a bit big so right then she she would, could beat the fuck out of me I don't like yeah. that she would she, she would, would dominate she scares oh, me hello. oh now look at that that's a lot of that's a lot of clearly, titty that's clearly, a lot of titty hanging out clearly there clearly some big fake titties on that one that is a lot of titty Kara 32 oh doesn't look oh, I'm gonna yes it's not. is she even wearing clothes in that one she's got a watch oh. backwards though. I don't know about that <laughs> oh uh, oh she's got she, I can't I'm glad. there's titties out in every she photo she clearly looks older than 32 though yeah. But she's doing well for that. She's definitely 35, but she's got big fake titties. I'm, so I'm, 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 yes. I'm, I'm yes in that one. I'm, yeah. I'm assuming no one will... No one will oh, Christina. I don't know about that. Christina looks like a good body, but See, she's the, looking down, hair covering way, her face. The worst ones are ones that only show their head. Because if they only show their head, they're clearly a fatty. Because good they're... Point. Oh, Ooh, she's, she's, now she's got her titties out as well. Yeah. I like, I, I'm, I'm yes in that. Click yes straight away. Whoa, crazy. Oh, that's crazy eye. I no, don't like crazy eye. No. That's titties out as well. There's a lot of titties out in the last few, but no, that's crazy. crazy. crazy that's crazy eye. I don't like that. That's, I don't like it. I don't know who they are, but I don't like it. Well, it has to be her because she, it says 23. Tanil. Interesting mm. name. 23. That's that's not 23. That person in the background is not 23. I'd, I'd probably go to one of them. No. But yeah, see, no, no, see that's Tenille. another one where like it's a bit too close up. Yeah. She could easily be a fan. No, I'm not doing that. I'm, going, I'm, right. I'm knowing that one because it's fine. Now, Oh, too far away. Juliet. Big Sunny's on, though. Juliet. Big Sunny's on. That's a classic, like, hide my face move. Oh, she loves to travel, though. She does love to travel. Oh, oh she's... Yeah. Oh, that's a better one. But, yeah, she's got Sunny's... Oh. Oh. Mm, yeah, she was covering her up her face. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, oh, what, who am I talking... Like, this is me sounding like I'm fussy. I'm like, I would fuck, right. it. I would so, fuck a couch if the cushions were fluffy enough. <laughs> but uh, here so, I am. Being, I, I'm yes and no. I was actually talking to uh, one of my mates the other day, and he was saying that the Tinder game is just to fucking push yes on everything. Yeah, don't, uh, even, just, don't even care what happens. So just keep yes, pushing everything, it. and if you get yeah. a match, you can reevaluate. Yes. Uh-huh. Because then, then you can work out on the night how fussy you are. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, if you're sitting at home on a Sunday night, then you're going to be pretty fussy if they start talking to you. If it's, like, 11 p.m. on a Friday and you've you're had at, a few You're beers, at, like, HQ or something yeah, like that. It does not matter how how ugly that chick is. If you want to put one through one, you're just going to go and do it, aren't you? Yeah, you're just so, sinking the guts. Yeah, that chick's hot. 
Remy. That's an interesting name. I like the name. Mm, I don't know. Reevaluating. Oh, oh no, I like that. I like I like Remy. What was that? Oh, I thought it was a that's a shoulder. I thought that was just a giant. No, I thought that was just a whole tit hanging out. There. <laughs> well, she but, looks a bit crazy, but you know. See, she oh, definitely. I don't think she's going to yes me back, so it's okay. Yeah. Oh, that's curry. Yes, actually, that's pretty that's hard. Hard. Look at another picture. Yes. Oh, she has a big forehead. Look oh, at that forehead. She, you. Look at, you, look at it. If you and her had kids, you would have the oh biggest Oh, my God. Forehead. For, the forehead would be so... <laughs> my God. Well, I would like, sublet it. I would. I would I would just you sublet have it. have a billboard on there. It would, you, know, you know, like the walking um, billboards? Yeah. I, I saw one of those guys. I was driving down South Road the other day, and I saw a guy standing in the middle of South Road dressed as a banana. <laughs> and he was holding... I don't know what sign it was. It was... It was you know, just a big arrow with the name of it or whatever. Yep. But he was standing there, like you see in the US. I've never seen it here before. But he was standing in the middle of the road, twirling this sign around, and he was dressed as a banana. Banana. Did he have some skills? No. Nah. No, nah, he was terrible. Rubbish banana. Yeah. That, oh. <laughs> yeah. I want to see your forehead, babies. Oh, my God. That The for. Oh, yeah, it's a big for. Yeah, just click. But see, no, just push. Oh. I don't want to know. Want... Yes. What name is that? Orit. Orit. Why are they all weird names? What? No. Nah. nah, I don't nah. like Orit. That's an interesting name, though. Uh, Malachi? Mal- are these people from Game of Thrones? <laughs> <laughs> I'm suddenly... <laughs> that is, that's these a, that's are, a Malachi. These are, all, these are the bit part characters from Game Tasha, of Thrones? Tasha, that's, that's, that's a strong no from me. Now, wait right there, you don't know if she's... Well, just, well, oh, that's just a body shot. What, yeah. she got a head? I don't know if she has a head. Do you have a head? Why do you have... Oh, she's got a kid. Kids, 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 Get a go. <laughs> Break the phone. More kids. Quack, congratulations again, by the way. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but you don't want to look after someone oh. else's fucking kids. I don't like. Yeah, I don't like Kathleen. Mm. Oh, Angela. Mm. Bit of nah, a, bit a, of Asian in the equation. Well, she yeah, you know she's 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 pretty cute. No, no, she's far too good. She's far too good. She deserves better than me. But I'm really like yes, it. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Uh, oh, it's these old people ten ten kilometers away. Yeah, that's a lot. What are you, what are your neighbors' names? Are they on your <laughs> like... I'm trying to find some. Ooh, oh, Immy. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Immy, that's a nice name too, Immy. Oh. Mm. Oh. Is that forehead girl? That looks like it looks. That like... is forehead. She, has she got hair at all? I don't oh, know. Oh, did we? Just... Oh no, no, no. <laughs> did no we, maybe did we just it was for that? maybe it was for charity. For charity. Oh. Maybe it was for charity. She she got leukemia for charity. <laughs> I don't know. No, no. Can we just do the. Can we can't. No. Um, you right. She doesn't look like. She, no, I think she, she's got hair. Maybe it's just really tight. That's a big forehead. I'm convinced. Again. I'm that convinced. looks like forehead girl. I'm co- it does look like forehead girl. You're convinced. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's friends with forehead girl. Well, she's got a big forehead too. Uh, not as big. Yeah, I'm gonna yes that. Yeah, gonna yes. You know, no, not one like ooh. From afar. Oh, ooh. in a bikini right there. Yeah. Now you put a bit Ricky. Now if you put a bikini shot up, it, like, you, it yeah. is good to go. Time. Yeah, I oh, look two. That's two bikinis. Mm. Oh, three, three bikinis out of five. She she knows what she's pretty ugly, but she knows <laughs> she knows she's got a good body. So yeah. she. Pull in. No, no. no don't, don't do much from me. Oh, Ooh, no. Whoa, oh, that, crazy stalk, that person crazy. will stalk you. She will stalk She's you. She's going, she would text you that you're a bitch like five uh, times a day when you break up with her. Yep. She's, yeah. She's, she would do a Todd <laughs> Gray in she England. Would, she would gray you. <laughs> she would, you could move to another state and just like, you know, a month later go to work and just go in your car and she'll be sitting in the backseat. seat. are like, <laughs> where you been? <laughs> she would, oh, that's it. <laughs> What's the name? The Ch- Chihiro? <laughs> Chihiro. The last time I know, the last Chihiro I know, this sounds bad, is from um, My Neighbor Totoro. That's an anime. There was someone called Tachiro in that. No. Um, nah. No. Nah. Beck. Now, that, she, how, she, how many Bogey. kids? How many kids? I reckon she's four. got at least, she's four. 34, four kids, mi- four. Four kids minimum. And you yeah. know what? I'm going to say and right first now, one she's pregnant was just in that photo. Yeah, really and cool. she, first one was 16, for sure. Yeah. I'm going to talk, I'm going to, yeah. Danica? No, I don't like Danica. No. Sarah, oh, hello, yeah, Sarah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Hey, Sarah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, geez. Yes, I'm, yes. Just click yes. Don't even need to go to the second hey, photo. Kimberly. Oh, Kimberly, yeah. Yeah, yeah yes, yes to Kimberly. Yes. No, you don't know. That's a group shot right Fire, there. Group uh, shot in the dark fireworks. What are you doing? Well, I'm sorry. Actually, that could have been, that could have been the one. Is that, a, is that a surfer dude? That's either... That's... that's that's over. That's Sally, but that's going to. So you haven't had anyone match you back yet. Nah, you? not at all. Not at all. Not at all. How long does it take? 
Uh, if how they've many... said yes to my profile, instant. So yeah, that's so... how it works. So in other words, so if how I'm many? Like... How many? How long have you been on Tinder? Or oh. and how many? Probably a good two months, and yeah. probably probably had a handful of chat. Never a catch up though, because. Yeah. I don't know. I uh, do you just did. Do they are. Do you? Just, I don't like, probably put send that, dick pics. No, that's. A bit, I probably. That's probably what I'm not. I'm doing. As I said, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Where I'm not sending dick pics. But um, I don't know. I still talk talk to it like 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 this isn't the whole. The whole point of Tinder is for hookups. Yeah. But I'll talk to her again. I'll be like, hey, I'll just talk for too long and be like, fucked it. Like mm. you know. So maybe I don't yeah, know. I don't know what close, approach to take. I don't know what to close a bit. See, yeah. I'm I'm lucky that I you know, I got married way too young. Not way too young, but I I don't have to worry about all of this shit, so I'm very happy. Yeah, you you because I would be set. I would be terrible at like. I can't talk to girls full stop, man. I can't. Yeah. I can't. I would I would rather cut a chunk of my own flesh off than go up even, and talk to a girl. Even in a bar. like, even now, even though I'm married, and even though I have no you know, inkling to go and go and chat up a chick, even just making small talk. With some random chick that I meet, I still feel nervous. And yeah, I don't know I, why. It's weird. Yeah, I've done stand up in front of a couple hundred people, right? And of course, I still feel a bit nervous, but I'll do that no problems. Confidence galore. Go up to a girl at a bar, I turn into an absolute wreck. <laughs> you know, I walked up to a girl at a bar once and just the whole tradition, you know, the, t- took all the courage. I literally had to like psych myself up like I was going to play a fucking Super Bowl game or something. I walked up to the girl and I went, Can I buy you a drink? She turns around, she just goes, Why? I'm just like, well, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Like, right away, I, I washed my hands of this. <laughs> like, run away, cry. I'll let you know if any of those girls match me back in the yeah. next episode. I'll let you know. In fact, if any girl full stop matches me, I'll let you know because I might need advice. Like, do you right, think I should so just go straight up for the ha- I don't want to go straight for the how about it. That's just, 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 no, no, that's no, just no. not just, me. That's just, just not me. Just be like, hey, so can I I get... want to show them that I'm not extremely desperate, but whilst actually being but, ridiculously desperate. Yeah. Yeah, you got to kind of be like, I'm not desperate, but I kind of am at the same time. So just be like, hey, can I can I get your number sometime, and then we can hook up. <laughs> just for ending, yeah. that is the worst picture of all of them. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. Go with up. go with something else. And go get some help. Picture of your dog might be the way to go. Oh, how are we doing for time? That's got to be oh, about the end. We probably we're, went over. We're over time. Oh dear. Well, we better we better wrap this up good and good and quick. So yeah, thanks very much again, everyone, for um tuning in. Um. It's been it's been great, man. Once again, Swanky, I hope you're having Bye, a great Swanky. time. I hope you're having a great time in Vegas, man. Just keep on keeping on, and just yeah, rock it out. And hopefully next episode we'll have a, a guest in. We can have a bit of yarn um, with all we'll of us. Some more. This is yeah. a tribute to Swanky. Swanks. But yeah, thanks very much, everyone. I've been Todd Gray. You can follow me on my on um, Twitter at Forty Nine Shades Pod. There's also the uh, Facebook group Forty Nine Shades of Gray, and the website now up and running fully now. It's, and it's a great little website too. And thank you very much to David Murren for doing that. And that's just Forty Nine Shades www.49shades.com. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for everyone for listening. Ben, thank you very much again. No worries, and where, can, where can people follow you at? Benny underscore Macca on Twitter. All right. I actually not... have a few new Twitter followers that I don't know. So oh. whether and they don't look like. <clears throat> Sorry, just quickly. Have you noticed that the Twitter bots these days look a lot better than they used to? Yeah, Twitter. There's they... no eggs anymore. Twitter actually, bots are going better, man. Yeah. I, I looked at my. I don't have many followers at the moment on Twitter. I'm follow. I'm following more people than I'm being followed by, and I'm following more porn stars than I am friends. <laughs> that's a fact. I'm very. I'm. 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 I'm not happy about that stat, but it's a true stat. <laughs> oh. Anyway, guys, boost. Right. Help me up. Get, help me. If you are a porn star, get on the bandwagon as if well. If you're it's a fine. porn star that also wants to be Todd's friend, I'm probably when... familiar with your work, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks very much, guys. We'll see you when we see you. All righty. See you guys. Cheers. Um,